started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of a fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. The minnow would be lost. One, two, three, four. Cuba. Can you see behind me there? There's a fishing boat. Local people who are probably willing to help tow our boat from this predicament of being here for the fifth night now. But on shore there are some soldiers in military un uh, uniform who won't allow any locals to come near us and help us. We're in a helpless situation. We've been waiting, trying to do it the official way, having the, the, uh, you know, the officials that they keep telling us every day, someone's gonna come, someone's gonna help, and every day we wait here longer and longer. The boat possibly getting wrecked. It's just an absolutely ridiculous situation. We went in today, we managed to talk to some embassies, uh, the local people told us that recently there was a boat that was stuck here for two months before anything was done and by the time something was done the boat was damaged irreparably. This is just a ridiculous situation. It's um, about 11 o'clock at night and I just want to give you some idea of what it's like to be in a boat that's actually beached. Uh, so the keel is stuck in sand, we're not moving due to the anchor being lodged and um, due to wind and waves the boat shudders constantly. You can imagine what that does to the boat, every joint, every part of it jolting and shuddering all night long. Eventually you can understand that that breaks the boat down. You can hear it, you can feel it and every... <laughs> every inch of your body and this is what's ha been happening all night for five for five nights now and um, I don't know if you noticed but I've had a shave before we're going in to see the harbour master tomorrow uh, I've got my little Hitler moustache maybe something this little prick will understand